Hey, hey, welcome back. Here is the 64 Lincoln we're doing. We call it the Black Knight. Of course, it's black, like most of the Lincolns out there. Why? Because it's a sexy color. That's why it's convertible and it's got a lot of cool features. So I'm gonna run them down for you real quick. Uh, we completely stripped this car down to nothing. Car was a great running, driving car, but the guy wanted a full rebuild. So we started with tearing all the paint off of it, doing all the door gaps, body work and the whole thing, painting it. Uh, we also did a 5.0 coyote swap in it with the AOD trans. It has a four nine inch with big ass wheel wood brakes. We did a, a spindle swap, which is something new that I'm working on to be able to sell to you out there in the public. And this, the spindle swap, what it does is it keeps the upper control arms from screaming so much when the car lays out, which decreases the wear and tear on the ball joints and the bushings and all that fun stuff. Uh, we have our fuel tank with our fuel pump installed in it to power the Coyote motor. Uh, it's got our full air ride suspension kit on it and it has something really cool that we're getting ready to install. Uh, it's a system that works off um, an iPad. So everything in this car will work off the iPad, which will be kind of cool to integrate that in the dash and still make it look old school, but the iPad technology, be able to start the car, roll up the windows, all that fun stuff. So I'm pretty excited about this car. Uh, we're getting close. Uh, I just wanted to tell you where we're at, show you the car and then you can continue following us on the journey. This week, we're gonna make it run and drive. That's our goal, so. Well, we're to that point in the project where we've been trying to get this thing started, and Mike just let me know that uh, we're having a little problem with the starter. Uh, so we're gonna do a little test, just uh, jump the starter to see if it'll kick over or if it's our wiring or what have you. It's sparking, but it's not gonna start. So now we're gonna yank the starter out, put it on the floor and hit it with the jump box and see if it's a, the starter's froze up or if it's actually the motor. So. Uh, let's pray it's not the motor, and uh, hopefully we just buy another starter. So here we go. So apparently, garbage. Kind of weird because the starter is only a few years old, but it is what it is. Uh, called my local O'Reilly's. They don't have anything in stock. They uh, don't even make it for this year yet, I guess. Uh, so I think this is a direct forward part. So I will be calling forward today and uh, getting another starter. So from time to time we get insurance work in, you're thinking, well, what kind of insurance work do you do? I'm like, well, let me show you. Uh, this is a customer of ours that we've done a little things here and there for. He had a lot of it done other, other places, but uh, he was actually cruising down PCH one day and I don't know, I, I crossed the road and stopped in the middle and. I don't know, dog, something, brother, four or five cars piled up together and just mashed it. So unfortunately for him, he's got out of his car right now and we're hoping the insurance covers it. As you can tell, he did a number. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pull the bumper off, pull the grill out, pull the hood off, probably pull the radiator. That way we can get to the inner structure, assess the damage and make sure anything's not cracked or broken, broken um, to see if we can get this thing pulled. Um, we'll get another fender for it and uh, try to get this thing back into alignment. I've got a really good frame shop. Um, I do not have a frame, a shop, frame machine here, but I would be able to uh, take it to my buddy and he's uh, it's what he specializes in so we can get it pulled back into shape and hopefully get this thing back on the road for the guy. It got hit so hard that it actually chipped the paint between the door and the fender, the door and the door, and the trunk lid and the convertible top. So this whole car just went bang and then pulled loose. So I think we can fix it. It's gonna be a lot of work, but uh, we're done, it'll be, it'll be cool. Well, we got the new starter in. Now it's time to see this thing fire for the first time. Coyote 5.0 in a Lincoln. So we have to... Woo! Yeah. There it is, it's alive. <laughs> So our goal this week was to get it running and driving. We got it running, but driving, here's the issue. We ordered a rubber part called a rag joint. It goes in between the steering column and the steering box. It's what controls the steering and it gives a little flexible play. Of course, we were supposed to get it yesterday. Coronavirus is holding it up. Got it today. How the hell does a rubber part get coronavirus is what I was asking. I'm like, where's my part? It's literally this big and it's got four holes in it and it bolts the two together and we'll be driving this sucker right now. So we're gonna have to break off of this car until that comes in and jump on this insurance job and uh, see if we can't help that guy out. So we got the hood open and uh, 
As you can see, it's pretty interesting in here, but we're gonna go ahead and take the hood off, pull the grill, pull the bumper, and just get all this stuff off the front so we can actually see the main structure and how bad it's bent if it is. If it's not, it's gonna be able to be straightened or repaired. So here we go. All right, so we got it stripped down just so we can see what the frame rail looks like, the inner fender. You can see a little bit of the damage. It's not super horrible. It looks really bad, but it should be fixable. Uh, fairly simple. We made a list of stuff. Uh, hood, cowl, complete left fender, nose, hood springs, three grill mounts, hood hinges, radiator fans, AC condenser, front bumper, complete grill, headlight bezels, headlights, rings, trim, three-piece grill, uh, the whole grill shell. Um, Left peak molding, top of that one, left front lower fender trim, left front wheel well trim, radiator support and temp. Um, and there's probably a few other little things to get, needs to go in there, as well as keep in mind it hit the doors, the trunk lid, so the whole front end will get painted, the whole side and probably most of the back. So we're almost a complete paint job at that point. Um, I'm gonna put this together on an invoice and uh, send the estimate to the insurance company and the customer and hey, you may see this back, you may not, so stay tuned. Okay, so I was at lunch, my glass guys came. I have the best glass guys ever. Old school, crazy stories, been there, done that, put windshields and everything, chopped about everything, he's amazing. He stopped by, him and his son threw my windshield in. That part is done, now we gotta throw the chrome on it. I'm so excited, the car's really come together. Another cool feature we have, is this thing's gonna run off an iPad. That's right, we're gonna be able to start the car, roll down the windows, take the top down, lock the doors, turn the AC on, all that stuff off of this iPad here. And how that's gonna work is we have this new system that we're wiring in that has a brain in three parts of the car. So the wires run in a CAN bus system like a new car and it all works off of these simple wires. Right now he's installing it and look at Look at all the wires, as you can see, this is pretty crazy. Uh, but when he's all done, this thing will all be wrapped nice and tight and ran through the car and everything will work off this amazing iPad. So that's a little story about our Black Knight and stay tuned for episode two, because obviously we'll have that running for sure driving. So that's our info for this episode for the Black Knight. We gave you a little taste of what we did already. We kind of caught you up to speed. We got it running. We would have had it driving if we had the stupid rag joint. But episode number two, you will see this car move on its own power, drive around the parking lot. And then it's ready to go to the tuner for the dyno tuning, which is gonna be awesome, and the interior. So we're getting close. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share with your friends. Let us know how we're doing. Appreciate you. Have a good one.